hi thank you for joining in so the weather outside is stormy to put it lightly is raging really and I thought to make a short video of this little book I released in 2020 just wanted to show it to you in case you haven't seen it if you have seen it you're obviously already familiar with this but if, if you haven't it's a short gardening book you can read the back here in the blurb see what it's about but in essence it's a book about a lady who leaves the city behind to connect with her roots in the countryside and in the wilderness she makes friends there uh, it's a book I really <laughs> enjoyed reading um, enjoy reading enjoyed writing and reading of course <laughs> from time to time uh, but yeah I wrote it really quickly um, compared to my some of my other books those took longer but obviously this is much shorter uh, Benja Hughes um, created the illustrations and yeah, I just wanted to show you this since it's the Wicktown Book Festival this week. It's on until the 2nd of October. I had an event prepared, well, not prepared, I had an event booked uh, for uh, another road tour today at 6 o'clock. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to attend because if the the rain doesn't stop and the winds the winds are pretty bad at the moment i was looking at the trees around the house and yeah they're quite they're waving their branches quite dangerously uh, so yeah i decided to make this short video um yeah we'll see hopefully if the weather improves later on in the afternoon maybe we can attend the event if not i'm gonna have to cancel it but yeah, I hope if you've been attending Wicktown Book Festival, you haven't been missing many events. We went to one last Friday um, for All the Broken Places by John Boyne. It was lovely, lovely uh, speaking, um, great questions. And yeah, we we're hoping to go again today for Graham McTavish, but he's not able to attend. And it was meant to be by video call and since the weather is like this i don't know i don't know if we'll go but anyway <laughs> i keep showing you this uh, book in the meantime um so yeah this is my older book and i have the other the other ones as well uh, my latest basil and the words of colors I still need to order copies, like uh, British edition copies, because the only ones I have in the house at the moment are the American edition without the, without the U in the colors, obviously, because it's the American. So, yeah, if you've been reading this book, let me know what you think of it. The, uh, the feedback has been quite positive. I'm really, I mean, I have no negative reviews for this book or not no no low star reviews for this um this book so it's a very uplifting book and everyone who reads it finds it really cheerful <laughs> so yeah you can see here miss camellia with her books um so yeah anyway I'm, i feel like i'm bragging um <laughs> rambling about um yeah let me know in the comments below um how this story made you feel and if you haven't read it yet if you'd like copies please get in touch with me or you might be able to find it in some shops nearby you depending on w on where you are there is uh, one in the northeast of Manchester of the UK as well uh, they have physical copies of this book and Basil as well Basil and the Worlds of Colors so uh, it's called the book dragon 
So if you live around there, you might find it there. Um, otherwise, hopefully, you'll be able to find this in some gardening shops soon. But the best place, obviously, is directly from the author, since this is a, uh, an independently published book. You can get in touch with me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this not so short video after all. Um, take care. I hope you're safe um, during this weather. Take care.